So here in this Debaco University video, we're going to go over what a cannabis clone is and also what it is not. Let's go through and answer the question what a cannabis clone is and what it is not. So first off, what is a clone? It's kind of, we hear them a lot and they get this like mythical kind of like uh, connotation with them. A clone is simply a cutting from a stock or mother plant. It's an asexual vegetative propagated plant material. So that's why they're usually called clones instead of that long uh, kind of terminology there. But that's actually botanically what a clone is. A clone is also genetically the same as the original plant, so that's why it's advantageous if we have unique individuals to go through this cloning process. However, what is a clone not? You know, when we're looking at a clone, well, a clone is not a seedling. Seedling here starts from a seed, develops cotyledons, and it's kind of that new emergence. A clone is that cutting asexual vegetative propagation from an original plant. Clones also will typically lack that defined central taproot that you see with seedlings. They still can produce an aggressive set of roots, but they will lack that central taproot. So it's important to realize that if you're growing clones versus seedlings, you are not going to have that central taproot with clones as you would if you were starting with a young seedling. So why do growers like clones? Um, they like them because it's guaranteed or at least consistent genetics and known gender of the plant. So those are two great aspects that are very advantageous for growers to know. So they're not wasting their time with potentially a seedling that might be a male when they want a female, may not be a cross that might be new and they wouldn't know what they're getting. So this is why growers really like clones. However, for growers that like clones, there's also reasons why growers don't like clones. So what's the reason why a grower wouldn't like a clone? Well, it's a challenge to plant. You're not starting with that small seedling, you're dealing with a literally a plant. Uh, there's also typically increased cost per plant versus seeds. So that can cause uh, an increase in upfront cost for growers. But a lot of growers feel that the advantages that I mentioned outweigh these potential downfalls. But this is why there are those options to plant clones or start with seedlings. The option is up to you to choose what fits best for your situation.